So I had a guy send me this intake manifold. It's out of a, a Cosworth Vega, which I know almost nothing about Vegas other than that they're cool. I didn't even know they came as a, a Cosworth option, but he wants them out of Delorto side draft to this, and he's got some space limitations in the engine bay. So what I'm going to do is make a plate to mount this carb to the manifold. So first thing I need to do is get these studs out of here. Now I get a better idea of what I'm working with. That's gonna, I think it's going to work out pretty good. So here's the uh, piece of stock in the mill. Had a bit of a challenge, the four center bolt holes on the manifold itself were extremely close to the four stud holes for the carburetor. So I couldn't use, I couldn't use the correct size uh, bolts because just the head was just too big it wouldn't fit so I found some threaded inserts which uh, they, they're threaded on the outside and the inside so they fit down into the the holes that are in the manifold but they've also got internal threads so you can bolt smaller holes into it so that's what we had to do I want to say they were uh, 5 16 bolts originally and just for the four center ones I had to go down to 1032s, which, given the fact that there's eight bolts holding this flange on, and it's a half inch piece of aluminum, I don't think that's going to be a problem. It shouldn't get any flex out of that. The inserts were stainless, if I remember, and the bolts were steel, so it should be plenty strong enough. So here's the flange. The only thing left to do is to, well, I forgot to tap it while it was in the machine, so I had to do that first. And then the only thing left to do is to mount it to the fixture plate and cut off the excess material. So aside from deburring the bottom side, and I like to put a sand finish on the face. Aside from those two things, it's plate is done. Came out pretty good too. So here we can see it is on it here it is on the manifold. So obviously we gotta put two holes in that manifold for the carburetor. But the plate here covers up the original holes, which uh, was convenient and worked out really well. So here I've got a, a fixture that I threw together fixture worked out pretty good. I knew it would vibrate, but it vibrated more than I thought it would. So if I had thought of it at the time, I would have packed some material behind it and closed the vice jaws, and that would have solved that problem. But here we got a... didn't know what was on the inside, so I made the holes a little smaller just so we could see in case we were running into any issues. And uh, there's a little bit, but it's uh, you'll see in a second. It's not that big a deal. So here we're just walking it up to the final diameter. And here you, you can see you got a little bit of inter interference. Some, some casting uh, shape in there. So what I did was just took a... <clears throat> just took an angle mill just inside the hole so that it put a bevel on those casting parts so shouldn't be a problem you can take a file to it or something or actually he can take a file to it if he wants to to get rid of those so here are the pieces um, I'm not going to put all the bolts in I'm going to take it back apart to ship it but I want to make sure everything fits see how it looks so here it is. To, 
turned out well. He's gonna he's gonna do all kind of tests to it to see what kind of flow he gets and all that kind of scientific stuff that I don't know anything about. But anyway, worked out okay. Ends up looking pretty cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.